Hi guys, um, this is Jenna from Magic Bookshelf and I have been neglecting our YouTube channel. I don't know if you remember the last time I actually recorded a video for the channel, so um, I just thought I would do a top 10 Tuesday post, even though it's like way past Tuesday. But I really liked um, this week's, or last week's, um, um, theme, which is basically top 10 books you would recommend to a person who does not read. All of my friends don't read, at least most of them. So I always try to recommend them books that I would think that they would like so that they would continue reading. And I have been successful on some books and not so much on some other ones. Um, I'm going to start off with, so there'd be 10 books in total, I think. And I'm going to start off with Shout Down the Moon by Lisa Tucker. Um, this book is, it, it's amazing. I have, I, I never forgot this book, even though it came out in 2005, I think. I read it like four years ago. Um, this book talks about this single mother and she is actually in a band, but the whole band thinks that she's stealing the spotlight from them because she's a singer and that's all she does, she sings. But, um, and the father of her, of her child is actually in jail, but one day he does show up and let's just say that he's a troublemaker and he's like troubled and he wants his son back. This is such an emotional book. I cried, I laughed, I love this book. I have read it more than once. I recommended it to my friend and she she loved it so much so much that she actually wanted to steal my copy. But I can't find this anywhere other than ordering it online. But I really like this cover. There's multiple covers. And as this is the only book I read by Lisa Tucker, the only one I could find. And it's amazing. I would recommend it to other people. I'm actually gonna give this to my friend next to next week so she can start reading it. It's a contemporary. So the second book I would recommend is Shadow Me by Tahira Mafi. This book is a mix of psychological, like thriller, with a bit of dystopian. And I actually recommended it to a friend and she loved it. And I and my sister recommended it to two of her other friends and they loved it and bought it. And um, yeah, I think this is pretty addicting. And for anyone who does not read, I am pretty sure they will love this one. Third book I would recommend is How to Be Popular by Meg Cabot, or basically any book by Meg Cabot, to be honest. But I would recommend this book for younger teens, like my sister's age. Um, I'm pretty sure my friends would laugh at me if I gave them this book with that cover. But um, I really love Meg Cabot's books. They're amazing. Um, I actually prefer her books to Sarah Dessen's book, even books, even though I've read a lot of Sarah Dessen's books, but Meg Cabot would be my favorite um, author after J.K. Rowling growing up. Fourth book would be The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Um, uh, I have not recommended it to any any one of my friends yet, but my sister did recommend it to one of her friends and she loved it. This would be the perfect book for people to start reading the dystopian genre. I think this would be like the initiation book or something. So this one. Fifth book would be 20 Boy Summer by Sarah Ockler. I love this book so much. I went into reading it not knowing that I would like it. And it's pretty sad, like at the beginning, because um, the girl's crush, he actually dies in the car accident and the story begins after that. How Anna basically deals with losing him and such. And um, it's pretty awesome. I love this book. I think any contemporary lover should read this book. The sixth book would be the Sweep series. This is the third volume. I don't have the first volume. But I read those five years ago and they are about a witch and wicca and all that stuff and magic. And I think this would be my favorite um, subgenre when it comes to paranormal because I really love magic and you know, all the Wicca and stuff like that. It actually interests me a lot. And I love this series. It's amazing. I love Kate Turner, to be honest. She's a really good writer, and I love this series. You guys should check it out. I'm sure I'll... I don't know if any of the book bloggers that I know other than Sam have read these books. So I think you guys should try reading them. Sweep. Uh, 
seventh book would be Divergent by Veronica Roth. I have successfully been able to convert one of my friends to a dystopian lover through this book. And I also, um, and my other friend actually bought this book to read because of how much I kept on raving about it. This is amazing. I know Taylor said that because it is long, she would be hesitant to recommend it to anyone. But trust me, I don't think it was long enough. I wanted it to be longer. I, I would have loved it if it was like double this length. Like I would not complain if it never ended, to be honest. Because I am in love with Ron Croth's writing. This book is amazing. I would have never recommend. I would have never picked up this book for this cover, ever. And when my when I gave this to my friend, my friend was like, "Uh oh, no way! I'm not reading a book with a weird cover." I was like, "You know what? You really need to read it." And she loved it. And she keeps on messaging me every week or so, asking me when will Insurgent come out. Around eighty days, by the way. So, Divergent, one of my all time favorite reads. Amazing. If you haven't read it, you really need to read it. Uh, eighth book is The Host by Stephanie Mayer. I do know that this is classified as an adult, which is pretty bizarre because I think this is a perfect young adult book, even though it is huge. It is around, wow, it is around 610 pages. And I have recommended it to some people, but I always warn them that the first 50 to 60 pages are a bore. They are really boring, you barely understand much, but after the 50 pages, you seriously cannot put the book down. I couldn't put the book down. The first 50 pages took me three days to read. The next 550 took me like a day and a half. And this is also one of my all-time favorite reads. It is amazing. Yes, it is by Stephanie Mayer. All you Twilight haters, don't go hating on this book. This book is so much better than Twilight. I hate that it's so overshadowed and that some of Twilight's, uh, uh, let's just say, uh, negativity is rubbing off this book because I really think everyone should give this book a chance. It's amazing. Um, the ninth book would be The Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy by Jenny Han. This is the perfect summer read. It is adorable, it is cute, it is fluffy, it is adorable. And let me just say that um, this is... <laughs> you just see me smiling just because of how much I love this series. Um, my, my sister loves it, I love it. Um, we even recommended it to a friend. She's, she's on the third book right now, it's a trilogy. And um, I think for any contemporary lovers, if you have not read this, you need to read this. It's amazing, like that's all I can say. I'm also giving this to my friend next week, my other friend, to read because she loves contemporaries. So, and the last book is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This book is, oh, I can't, it's, it's like on a different level when it comes to contemporary books because I don't know, but it is so different than any contemporary book I have read. And um, the pic, the the art. I hate when um, when covers actually show the face of the pr supposed protagonist or whatever. And I just did not like this jack this picture. And also the synopsis was was a typical um, typical contemporary plot for me. But when I read this, I actually could not. Uh, it was it was it was too amazing. I finished it and then I went back and reread it again. This is how amazing it is. And again, um, I actually gave this to my friend Alia, and after she read it, she loved it so much that my other friend heard her and she's like, "Give me the book." So I gave it to my other friend Dina, and then when Dina finished it, my other friend's like, "Oh wait, give me the book." And then I gave it to Nahed. So it actually circulated between like four of my friends, and every single one of them loved it. So. I think this book would be the um, book to read if you have not gotten into contemporary books yet. This would be the book. It's amazing. Uh, so I would recommend Anne and the French Kiss. So those are all the books that I have recommended. Um, I will still, I will recommend, and I'm hoping to be able to recommend to more people to get into reading as such. And um, link me below for any books similar to these that you think I might like them or my other friends or my friends might like them. And happy reading. Bye guys.